Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Beat It Queen. I just really wanted to update you guys on a few things that have been going on. I just wanted to share with y'all that I am finally a full-fledged YouTuber as of December 20th and I couldn't be more excited and I couldn't think of a better way to start off 2022. I really couldn't have done this without y'all's support over the last few years. I truly thank y'all from the bottom of my heart and I love you guys so much. So thank you for everything and I hope that you guys will continue to support me because I really do love critiquing Drag Race with you guys and I hope that we will get to do that in the future together. And I am truly excited for what this year will bring. So with that being said, let's get into our usual drag stuff. For those of you that are new here, we will typically be rating main stage runways of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 with a gag for a sickening look and a goop for a not so sickening look. I have been working on a few things for my channel for y'all's entertainment. So I really hope you like what has come to my channel and the new things that are soon to come in the future. I haven't done a premiere episode in a really long time, so I just really wanted to get started. So we are going to be rating the looks of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 premiere entrance looks. So let's get into it. First up, we have Alyssa Hunter. To start off, I'm just so happy to see a queen from Puerto Rico because we haven't really seen a new Puerto Rican queen in a long while. I really like that she chose to wear her surname as her look. She wasted absolutely no time delivering exactly who she is. The braided hair is a nice touch that goes perfectly with her aesthetic as well as the makeup. The embellishments and overall print of the garment are truly spectacular on this bodysuit. The pelts and skins at the waist also adds another layer to this look that really takes it there. These thigh-high heels with plaid trimmings complete this presentation, and overall, I give Alyssa Hunter a gag. Next up, we have Bosco. At first, I didn't really like this look too much, but the more I look at it, the more I find things to like about it. The silhouette is right, the horns are right, and the print is right, because who doesn't love a polka dot print? The one thing I don't like is where the dress stops. An added ruffle flare could have helped but I love her makeup, especially the graphic brows. They really do look amazing. I also really like the exact same fabric choice as a scarf selection. It feels really campy yet fashionable and tells me exactly who she is. And for that, it's going to be a gag. Next up, we have Cornbread the Snack Jeté. First of all, I just really want to say that I really do enjoy her name. It's unique, it's different, and it is totally her, and it fits her drag aesthetic. There's so much to like about this simple yet cool looking dress. This leather slash pleather, all black and gold, is the moment. The golden nails, the necklace, and the hair accessories complement her dress beautifully. The wig and shoe choice is pure perfection, and the makeup is gorgeous. We stand a gorgeous funny queen. She feels fresh, charismatic, and like humor just rolls off of her. And I really like that about her. She will definitely be one to beat, so these other queens better watch out. It's a gag. Next, we have Willow Pill. I understand what she's trying to go for, but she's selling me something I don't really want to buy, unfortunately. The hat at least has rhinestones and the shirt looks cute. It has a humor about it by having Angel misspelled purposely, which tells me exactly who she is. And her makeup looks nice. She has a clear point of view on what she is presenting, but I'm not sure if this will be enough if this is a continuing aesthetic. Drag isn't any set way, but this is just so ready to wear, you can purchase it at a Goodwill anywhere. Also flip flops, girl. To me that is not good and feels a little lazy. And for those reasons, it is going to be a goot for me. Next is Carrie Colby. I am so sorry Willow, but they did you so dirty by having you go between two polished queens. Carrie looks so beautiful. I also love that she is sporting the trans flag and colors in her garment. The outfit is simple yet chic and fierce and she looks immaculate. The wig and makeup really pulls this look together. The wig looks expensive and custom. It is styled just for her. You can tell she is that it girl and her makeup continues that storyline. It is blended for the gods and goddesses. She doesn't need big hair to be close to God because she's a goddess and these other queens all know it. For me, it's going to be a gag. Anyone that comes after Carrie has a tall order to fill and June Jambalaya unfortunately falls short. I'm not sure what this spaghetti strap romper is supposed to be. It doesn't seem like a standard jumpsuit, nor does it appear designer as it is claimed to be. I don't really understand the choices that were made. The way it just casually sits over this turtleneck 
seems all wrong. I think the color palette could have at least been changed and other accessories could have really brought out something different. Like, you know what I mean? The thing I like most are the heels. I just hope she's waiting to bring out her good drag during the competition because this is way too tame and it's going to be a goop for me. Last but not least, we have Orion's story. Most drag bodysuits can come off as basic, but this is definitely not one of them. The overall color theme and the way this bodysuit is spangled is absolute perfection. The red nightgown with the puffy trims is the cherry on top, as well as the head wrap, the wig, earrings, and heels. I didn't really think that I would enjoy this as much as I did, but she really pieced this outfit together and she looks fierce and beautiful and for that, she's gonna get a gag from me. So that is going to be it and conclude today's RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 premiere runway video. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see all 14 of the queens in this premiere sneak peek, but I will say I am glad that they are splitting the queens up because that just means we get more time as viewers to get to really know the queens and their unique storylines. These first seven queens came out really strong and really showed us their charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, as well as their looks. I am really excited to see what the other group of queens have to offer because they sure have a tall order to fill, but I'm sure they will be just as amazing. I cannot wait to see how creative their looks are going to be, what they're going to come up with, how they're going to interact with each other as drag queens and all the drama that is yet to come, as well as everything else that just makes this show that much more fun. And I am really excited to meet these next few queens. So hopefully they come out with a bang just like these queens did. With that being said, one queen from this premiere episode will sashay away in the episode coming out today at 8, 7 central. It is absolutely anyone's game. They are all spectacular and have immense talent, and I cannot wait to critique their main stage runways this evening, provided that there is one. On that note, I will be posting Drag Race Season 14 runway videos every Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, so don't be late. No, I'm just kidding. So, what did y'all think of the first premiere looks? Did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? Don't forget to leave your comment down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see more drag content from me. Also, one last thing, I would really just like to once again thank y'all for the love and support. It really means a lot to me and I'm going to continue working hard to make this channel even more special. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and Happy New Year, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, everyone.